Okay, now we will continue with part four concentration of a commercial solution. At the end of this session, students should be able to determine the concentration of a commercial solution based on its density, percent by mass and molar mass of the solute. On the bottle of a commercial solution, we can read among the its information the percentage by mass, the density of the solution, and the molar mass of the solute. Using this information, we can use the concentration of this commercial solution. This is a bottle of the, an example of the commercial solution. And this is uh, what we can read on this bottle, for example, hydrochloric acid, HCl. Uh, percent by mass is given 34%, density 1.17 kg per liter, and molar mass of HCl 36 grams per mole. These three given are used to determine the concentration of this commercial solution. How? We will see in this part. First, we calculate the mass of one liter of solution. We, take, we can take any volume, but uh, it is better to take one liter uh, for, uh, to make the calculation more easy, easier. For example, uh, first, we have density equal mass of solution over volume. From so this relation, we can deduce that the mass of solution equal density times volume. Uh, as we have seen density for the example uh, seen in the uh, part in the before slide, uh, density 1.17 gram kilogram per liter and volume equal one liter then the mass equal 1.17 kilogram we transform it into gram we multiply it by 1000 then the mass of one liter of solution equal 100 1170 gram second step the mass of solute in one liter that means in 1170 gram how many gram we have of solute. Using the percent by mass, which is mass of solute over mass of solution times 1000, mass of solution is calculated in uh, step 1, and percent is given, we can deduce the mass of solute equal percentage times mass of solution over 100, percentage 34 given, mass of solution is calculated 170, 1170, over 100 equals 397.8 gram. This is the mass of HCl or the mass of solute in one liter of solution. Now we can deduce the concentration of the commercial solution. C0 is the concentration of the commercial or the initial concentration. C0 equal N over V, number of mole of solute over V of solution. Number of mole equal mass over molar mass. We can replace number of mole by mass over molar mass. Then the relation becomes mass of solute over molar mass times volume. Uh, mass of solute calculate 397.8. Molar mass given 36.5 and volume, we have taken the volume in part one, we have taken the volume equal one liter, the mass of one liter of solution, therefore we should use the same volume one liter. If we take above the volume two liter, we should put in the last step volume equal two liter. If we put 
Uh, we use it to 100 milliliter, we should put it 100 milliliter, that means 0 0.1. Then, uh, the same volume taken in first step should be used in third step. We obtain the same result, the concentration equal 10.9 mole per liter. Uh, another method, it's the same, but we uh, do one calculation, we continue by the relation to the end, then we put each uh, term by its value and we make one calculation. How? We have, we start by the relation of percentage by mass, equal mass of solute, our mass of solute times 100, and the mass of solute equal number of small times molar mass and mass of solution equal density times volume. Then we replace the mass of solute by number of small times molar mass. And we replace mass of solution by density times volume. The relation becomes number of mole times mole of times 100 over density over volume. Now, number of mole over volume is the initial concentration, C0. It remains molar mass and 100 above, and it remains density below. The relation becomes C0 times molar mass times 100 over density. We need to calculate C0. C0 equal percentage times density over molar mass times 100. This is the final relation. Now, we put each term by its value. 34 is the density, it's, sorry, the percentage by mass. The density is 1.17 kilogram per liter. But the unit of density in this relation should be in gram per liter. So we should transform the density from kilogram per liter into gram per liter. We multiply by 1,000. Our molar mass times 100, molar mass 36.5 times 100 equal 10.9 kilo mole per liter. Density equal 1.17 kilogram per liter, that means over 1 liter. Uh, we transform the kilogram into gram, we multiply by 1,000. Our unit of volume remains in liter. Now it becomes in gram, the mass. Therefore, the density equal 1.17 times 1,000 unit gram per liter. To transform the unit from kilogram per liter into gram per liter, just multiply by 1,000. The same if we have gram per milliliter, density equal 1 gram over 1 milliliter, if we take 1, we should transform the volume into liter. The mass, it remains in gram, it remains 1 gram. So, milliliter to liter, from small to big, we divide by 1,000 or 10 power 3. Then, 1 times uh, 10 power 
minus 3, that means 1 divided by 1000, the unit of volume becomes liter. The final reaction equal 1. 10 minus 3 uh, becomes 10 power 3, 1 times 10 power 3, the unit gram per liter. Also, to transform from gram per milliliter into gram per liter, we should multiply by 1,000. This is unit that can be used, and the transformation from kilogram per liter to gram per liter, we multiply by 1,000. And from gram per meter to gram per meter, we also multiply by one thousand. Okay, as we have said, we should take care that density in this relation should be in gram per meter. If we are given in kilogram per meter, we multiply it by one thousand. If it is given in gram per meter, also we multiply it by one thousand. This is the how can we calculate the concentration of a commercial solution uh, based on its density, uh, the percentage by mass of the solute and the molar mass of the solute? Remark, as we have said, the unit of density should be in gram per liter. Now, application. A solution S of molar concentration C has been prepared starting from a commercial ammonia solution of which the label shows the following indications. Percentage by mass 0.5 percent, density 0.91 gram per milliliter, and molar mass of ammonia and H3 equals 17 gram per mole. Second step, a volume V0 equal 1.5 milliliter of this commercial solution S0 is taken and this is water is added to this volume in such a way to obtain a solution of volume V equal 2 liter. 1. Determine the molar concentration C0 of the commercial solution. 2. Show that the molar concentration C equal 1, 10 minus 2 mole per liter. 3. Show the following from the following glassware, those that are essential for the preparation of the solution. 2 milliliter volumetric pipette, 2 milliliter graduate cylinder, 2 milliliter graduate pipe, 2 liter graduate cylinder, and 2 liter volumetric flask. Solution. Uh, we are given a commercial solution S0 uh, given uh, density percent by mass and molar mass of NH3 equals 17 gram per mole. The uh, density of 0.91 percentage uh, 0.5. Okay. Density 0.91 gram per milliliter. Percentage equal 0.5 percent. Using this uh, information, we should determine the concentration of the commercial solution. Uh, we start by the percent by mass equal mass of solute over mass of solute times one. So how can we replace uh, mass of solute by number of mole times molar mass? This is the mass of solute, and we replace mass of solution by density times volume. Now number of mole over volume is uh, C0 equals C0 times molar mass times 100 over density. Now C0 equal percentage times density our molar mass times 100, uh, percent 25, density view 0.91, but the unit is gram per liter, per milliliter, it should be in gram per liter, we multiply it by 1,000, our molar mass 17 times 100, the 
initial concentration equal 13.38 mole per liter. Now uh, we have taken uh, from S0 of C0 equal 13.38 mole per liter calculated in part 1. We take a volume V0 equal 1.5 milliliter. To prepare a solution S of concentration C and volume V equal to liter. First, we should calculate C in part 2. After the dilution, this is a dilution. After the dilution, the number of moles of solute is conserved. That means N0 of solute, number of moles of solute in S0, equal N solute, equal number of moles of solute in the final solution S. We replace N0 by C0, V0, and we replace N solute by C, V. Uh, C0 given, V0 given, V given, we can reduce C equals C0, V0 over V, C0 13.38, V0 1.5 meter over V2000 millimeters. We have uh, the unit of volume above and below should be the same. Uh, V0 in milliliter, then V should be in milliliter. Or V0 we transform it in liter and uh, V remains in liter. Uh, then we have transformed uh, V 2 liter into milliliter 2000. Milliliter over milliliter, it cancelled, it remains concentration mole per liter. Equal 110 minus 2 mole per liter. Part 3, the glassware are, uh, we need to take 1.5 milliliter, uh, we should use a pipette. But we don't have volumetric pipe at 1.5 milliliter. We cannot use volumetric pipe at 2 milliliter to take or withdraw 1.5 milliliter of S0 because volumetric pipe is not graduated. Then we should use a graduated pipe to take 1.5 milliliter. The graduated pipe is of size of capacity 2 milliliter. Then 2 milliliter, sorry, graduated. Pipe, not cylinder, to draw 1.5 milliliter of S0, and we use 2 liter volumetric glass to prepare 2 liter of S. This is the end of part 3.